Republicans sense that there's a vulnerability here. They've been ramping up the pressure on Evers about the vaccine rollout. In talking to people this week, my impression is even if the governor got everybody vaccinated by late spring, Republicans say it was a failure because they sense that things are not going well in their minds. They've got numbers from the CDC that shows that we are, I think, last now in the Midwest in terms of percentage of population that's been vaccinated. The flip side is you look to, to the other numbers about the percentage of doses that have been used. And the governor's making the argument that we can't vaccinate more people unless we have more doses. So the, the, the statistics kind of get used back and forth by each side, the ones that look, make them look the best. Again, that, that whole thing about the prisoners thing, that's when it cuts through the clutter for voters. So you gotta watch that one. Beyond this, the governor is trying to take some actions to shore up this whole vaccination thing with the mobile units. Um, there's another program that uh, he announced today about going in and helping back to people in nursing homes. This is living facilities, I think it is. Skilled, so, skilled, skilled facilities, you. yes, yes. So watch how that progresses because that's really key for him to keep moving that forward. And oh, by the way, we are not unique in our struggles. It's happening across the country and part of this room by the federal government that has not maybe done the best job in getting vaccinations out there. I mean, hey, the vaccine got created way quick or, or approved way quicker than people thought it was. The rollout since then, however, has been left a lot to be desired. There are questions about funding to the states to help them roll it out, et cetera. So it's not just like the state of Wisconsin is the only one having some issues getting shots in the arm. 